Hello everyone, welcome to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we will see how to determine the diameter or the size of a distant object like a moon, earth or a nearby star. In the last lecture, we have seen the parallax method. In parallax method, we measured the distance, but in this case, we are measuring their diameter, their size. So, suppose we want to measure the diameter of the moon. Right. So, this is our earth and from the earth we fixed our telescope at a particular point called E and from this point we are observing the moon. Suppose we want to measure the diameter of the moon. Then what we will do? The moon is observed with the help of a telescope. So, here we have fixed a telescope. And then the angle theta subtended by diametrically opposite ends A and B of the moon at point E is measured. It means first we observe with the help of telescope the one diametrically opposite point of the moon and then we will move our telescope to this point and by moving this we can measure the theta right we can measure this angle theta. Now, we know that in the last lecture we have calculated the distance of the moon from the earth. So, if d is the distance of the moon from the earth then diameter a b ok this is the diameter a b diameter is this diameter a b of the moon can be regarded as a circular arc. How it is? Suppose I fix a rounder here and I make a arc here with the help of a rounder. So, arc will be like this. So, we consider this as a arc, this diameter we consider this diameter as a arc and this particular point we consider as a radius of the circle. So, like this ok, this our E point is this ok. From this we are making a arc like this. So, here I have made a arc. So, this is our arc. So, this is arc and this is our radius it is our imaginary radius we assume that it is a part of a circle. So, this is our arc this is distance b. So, for a circle if we want to measure the theta we have a formula that theta is equals to arc by radius. So, this is our arc this is our radius or we can say the distance d and this is theta. So, theta is equals to arc by radius. Here this arc is the diameter of the moon and that we call as a d and this radius or this distance is the distance of the moon from the earth. Now, we want to measure the diameter of the moon. So, we make d as a subject. So, d is equals to d theta because theta is equals to d by capital D. Now, I want small d that is the diameter. So, d is equals to d theta. Now, we know the distance it is 3,84,000 kilometer right this distance of the moon from the earth and theta we can measure it directly and with the help of this we can get our answer easily. So, now we will measure the diameter of the moon. Now, we will measure the diameter of the moon. So, the angle the question given is the angle subtended by the moon at point on earth is 0 degree 31 minute. It means when we observe the moon from this point on earth and we observe its two diametrically opposite point and we get that angle that theta is 31 minute. And if the distance of the moon from the earth that is in the parallax method we have calculate the distance that is this distance given is 384,000 kilometer or 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 meter find the diameter of moon. So, we have to we have to find this this distance is given this theta is given. So, we have d this distance is 3.84 into 10 raise to 8 meter d that is the small d which is diameter which we have to find and theta is 
given now it is given in the minute or in the degree and we have to convert it into radians that is the si units so we know that 1 degree is equals to 60 minutes so we want 31 minute is equals to how many degrees so 31 minute is equals to how many degrees so it is equals to 31 by 60 degrees so 31 by 60 degree now we can now we want to convert this degree into radians so we will multiply it with pi by 180 so theta is equals to 31 by 60 into pi by 180 radian so what we have derived theta is equals to arc by radius so this this is our arc and this is our radius so we want this d so we will make d as a subject so d is equals to capital d into theta where d is this distance which is given 3 lakh 84 thousand kilometer or 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 meter into this theta so after simplifying this what we will get we will get 3.46 into 10 raised to 6 meter and for simplicity we can say it is 3460 kilometer okay 